Hey there, I'm Johnson Scovich. We're in the duck area right now, uh, doing some linger grazing, seeing what the situation is, making an assessment, making a plan, and quite frankly, just watching the ducks behave in their little pond, surrounded by nature and beauty, and uh, ain't nothing better than that. We're gonna get on the other side of the camera right now. I'm gonna walk you around this area, tell you what I am observing, what has been working for me, answer a few of your questions, and then tie that into our grazing and farm marketing plan. So we're inside the duck area. The ducks are doing their thing, having a good time. It rained last night. They got fresh water in this pond. It's refilled up a little bit. And uh, looking around them, let me zoom out here. Looking around them, we know that a duck is about the size of a football, maybe a big football. And this right here is just thick, dense, tall, kind of wild. Is that burdock and mugwort and just a bunch of weeds that have grown up and have become a patch. And uh, there's where my greenhouse collapsed in the background. There's my new shelter that I'm putting up right now. That has nothing to do with this video. Ducks will lay their eggs all over the place. I haven't been able to train a duck into a nest box yet. So we'll find them all throughout this area, right? Look at that, boom. But that doesn't mean they'll use that nest every day. So it is not only harder for the ducks to get around, but it's easier for them to hide their eggs, which means it's harder for me to get their eggs. So I'm going to break this up. I like keeping them in this area because they're easy to manage. With the pond, they always have a water source. Uh, with the rain we've been getting, the water's been cycling through, which is good. I'm going to break it up with my grazing planting to maybe mow and trim this side first and then wait a week or two and mow and trim that side as the you know my two halves balance out and so i don't have to spend my entire time weed whacking hedge clipping and trimming in here i can do half and then come back and do half another chore day but we're gonna just zoom in right here. I'm, I'm linger grazing. So linger grazing is one part studying what your next moves are and the effects of your past move. And the second part is stopping to enjoy and appreciate the fact that you have ducks, water, lilies. I think that's loose strife, uh, the pink stuff. And a chicken tractor, and that's my back pasture. That's where I normally keep the pigs. So that's one direction, and it's just beautiful. And even though it's overcast right now, and it's a little cold, and there's like a little bit of moisture in the air, very humid. As I turn around, brewery's right there. Brooder is right there. The tractor sat out in the rain last night. Dog's off barking at something. And I come around to the ducks, and we'll see if they let me get close. So with my linger grazing, I'm making a plan to mow. I'm adjusting in my head, kind of balancing out my other to do, the rest of my to-do list and my other obligations. Because for me, farming is uh, balanced out by my work at the brewery, my role as a father and husband, and occasionally I get to be a friend as well, which is pretty great. But you gotta have a balanced life. You gotta spend some time with your linger grazing to appreciate how beautiful it is. This is a big to-do list over here. We won't get into that. And hopefully the wind is not too bad on this video. These are some English walnut trees I planted a couple years ago. I didn't think they were going to make it. In the last two years, they really just like popped. It's awesome. They're about five or six years old now. And there goes the ducks running away from me. See an egg on shore over there. The other thing about flighty animals and linger grazing, if you're linger grazing, shooting video, taking pictures, stopping and listening, drinking a cup of coffee, they will go from being scared of you to just ignoring you because you're not up in their business. You're just watching and enjoying what they're doing. And that gets you more comfortable with the animals and the animals more comfortable with you. 
we're going to flip over to the other side of this camera and this video. And uh, that's about that. So there's nothing like the Saturday morning linger grays uh, being out in the field. There's the inside of the chicken tractor with ducks. There's the ducks. And um, yeah, nothing profound to close this video out other than I need to do some trimming in here. Uh, make it more comfortable for those guys. We're going to head over to the goats in my next video, which are in that area. Can't even tell. I think that's a goat. Let me say right there. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care of yourselves. And if you can, take care of somebody else as well. Uh, have an awesome week. And until next time, I'll see you out in the field.